Well, uh, I'm going to demonstrate a landscape drawing based on Edward Hopper. Hopper is uh, mostly known for his lonely people and uh, in, in strange landscapes. But uh, Hopper also had some wonderful landscapes, uh, 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 nature paintings and seascapes and all. So I recently found these paintings of Hopper and one of them I'm going to transform this one, Square Rock, um, this marine and changing it to black and white so that I can look at the color values and the grays, whites and blacks, the color values, the values, the levels of gray in this work so that I can select the great masses in the landscape and then put these masses on my drawing in a very efficient way. So let's get started. This is the reference, a Hopper reference. And it has been changed to black and white, so the colors will not interfere in the reading of the values, the great sections of gray. So uh, I'm going to make uh, marks for the corners so that I'll be able to put a rectangle that will include this uh, uh, drawing. It is always a, a good practice to have a rectangle because the horizontal and vertical lines of the rectangle will guide you once you search the distances from um, the horizontal and the vertical. So uh, right after I do this, this rectangle, I will start finding lines all over. I have been saying that uh, drawing is the same for everything. Um, it doesn't matter if I draw a banana, a landscape, a portrait. Here I have, for instance, this big mass, this other big mass here. So I first do a study of the major masses. It does not matter what I am drawing. And this uh, uh, isthmus uh, uh, way will give us a line. So looking at uh, a picture or a real landscape, you try to find general marks and general masses so that you'll be able to anchor the drawing right away. So very efficiently, I'm going to mark, find this point here on the left so that I can I don't go for geometrical major uh, marks. I, I really go sensitively moving over my lines, moving over my lines, a very sensitive manner, what is in front of me. So I draw on one side and then um, I mark on the other side, um, positioning in putting in balance everything, uh, a line in the center. This uh, horizon line establishes the division between the sky and the sea. And, and now I have uh, a first plane, uh, an intermediary plane, and then a faraway plane that is uh, comprised by the sky. Now, um, I uh, have a uh, dry on one side, a dry on the other side, and then I ask myself, where do I put lines to equilibrate this drawing? So I have to do it very slowly so that my eyes move over the line that I chose. And very slowly, I will, my hand will follow the movement of my eyes. So... Um, now I have this major lines all over the paper, and then I complete here with this larger mass. The external contour lines um, of, of all these masses in this uh, landscape 
are already on the paper so I can move now I can even stop the drawing if I want to a couple of minutes from now because uh, I'll have uh, I will have registered the the drawing now uh, to close this I'm going to uh, find some uh, secondary lines you see and uh, the gray shapes will go right after this now I squint and I look at uh, uh, this great contrast between light and dark and I draw the shape of the shadow masses you see and these will be transformed in grays this great mass here and uh, very slowly patiently uh, patiently, uh, and I'm not a very patient person, as you might have noticed by now, um, but I go and I fill in the gray areas. Um, I'm not going to complete all of them because this will take too long, but uh, when I am in my patience mode, I can uh, draw for a couple of hours and put carefully, and, and eventually we are going to see a, a work. Now, I marked my landscape in space in the same way that I did uh, Raphael's drawing, uh, the way I have been working with the sergeant uh, on one side, on the other, in the center. Well, uh, the lines are all in place, and you can see that the landscape is entirely here now. Uh, and you complete smaller masses, this smaller dark masses and lighter masses, and you start putting the shadows in their places. Um, and this is uh, our landscape demonstration. Uh, during landscape drawings um, you start the landscape in its place uh, in the real environment and then you take it home to complete it at home because in the the real setting light is changing there are flies and then mosquitoes over all over you and uh, it's hot it is cold and then you put a few lines and the sketches and you go to your atelier to your studio and home and you complete it there uh, uh, I, I find it pretty amusing when I see these videos I learn how to do sh uh, uh, landscape uh, uh, and put uh, uh, mountains and put skies and uh, well it's all the same thing and this is hopper uh, square rock uh, please uh, leave a comment below uh, uh, below here and uh, in my channel YouTube channel and uh, send me uh, uh, an email or get my my PDF book on on self portrait great masters okay in this way you write, you see holding the pencil, in this way it's pretty good to put the shadows and, and to cover a larger area. So please leave a message and uh, pretty soon we'll be having a, a course, an online course on drawing and after that painting and uh, we'll have the fundamentals of drawing but it's not drawing you see it is the fundamentals of seeing the great masters used to see differently it's not a matter of a drawing technique it is a matter of seeing differently and uh, seeing differently you do great drawings um, and i am plinio santos filio and uh, i thank you for your time take care